if you have a DVD, you're going to want to either send us the DVD, and that would allow us to create an exact copy of it, or create an ISO image file of your DVD normally. This video describes how to create an ISO image file from your actual DVD. If you just have files on your computer, you can zip those up and just create a zip file and then we'll burn that as a data DVD. So in the URL section for a DVD within your project, you're going to specify a URL to your ISO file or your zip file if it's a DVD. If you'd rather not do that, go up to Help, Easy Disk Setup, mail it to us, and we'll create that ISO image for you. There's a $10 fee for that. If you have a CD, you can simply upload your entire CD zip file to Trapstar. For a CD, you're just going to want to have a zip file normally, whether it's an audio CD or a data CD. If it's an audio CD, that would be a zip file full of MP3 or WAV files. You should look here for more information about that. We're going to go into creating an ISO image file from your DVD. You can upload your ISO file or your zip file to the Trepstar free public folder. You would click here to look at the upload instructions and you'll notice you can upload directly to our free folder. This is how you can find out more information. You can also use Amazon S3. We're going to focus here now finally on creating the ISO image file. To create an ISO image file, we recommend using Alcohol 120. I'm sure there's others out there, but first go to alcohol-soft.com and click on the download trial. It'll take you to a download page. We want to go to this download tab over here and click on download. That brings us to a page like this. We want to skip some of this other stuff, download and then install that trial. So we're going to see the downloader start, and we're going to open it up when it's finished. Run that. We don't want to add any of these additional components. We can agree to the standard terms, and we'll restart Windows. Once you've finished installing, you're going to be able to go ahead and start Alcohol 120. We're going to not buy the trial version at this time. It's well worth the price if you plan on doing more than one or two DVDs. To make an ISO image file, which is an exact copy of your DVD, you want to put the DVD in your computer and shut the drawer. Normally then that will bring up Alcohol 120 automatically, but we're showing it here with it already open. We want to go to the image make. First of all, you want to pick the drive that contains your DVD. You want to give it an image name, which is any file name. The default location is probably fine. This is where you want to make sure you change this to an ISO. You don't want to skip reading errors because that'll let you know if you have a problem with your disk. Perhaps there's fingerprints on it or scratches, so you want to let this tell you if there's a problem. Once we start it, you'll see that it's going to read your disk and create the ISO image file. That will take a little while here. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to speed this up. So you can see here we're just finished and now we've created the ISO file in this folder. If we right click we can, you can open the containing folder which shows you your image. Now what we want to do is upload that to Trapstar. If you do search 
you can look for FTP and you'll find a page about Trepstar FTP. You can upload your file directly to the Trepstar FTP folder if you don't already have a place on the internet to store your file. There's a video about using FileZilla to FTP your file up to a server. We're going to just show you how to use FileZilla to do that. You can learn how to install and configure FileZilla by looking at this page under search FTP. Once you've installed FileZilla though, this is how it will look. You're going to connect to upload.trepstar.com using the username public and the password. All of that is shown here on the Trepstar page, FTP page. You can also FTP your file up to your own server or Amazon S3, for example. There's other videos that describe that under help. Once you have a URL to your ISO file on the internet, then we're going to add that to the project. You'll see here that when you use your FTP software, you're going to go to your own local site. In this case, it's my name here, but normally this is where your Alcohol 120 files are going to be listed, and that will be the myproject.iso that we created earlier. Then you're going to upload that to the remote site, whether that's the Trepstar FTP site or your own site. So you need to know how to use FTP or some other way of getting your file to a public internet address. Once you've uploaded the file, in this case we were showing an example of getting it to our Trepstar FTP folder. This could be your S3, Amazon, this could be your own domain, it doesn't matter, but you'll eventually have a URL that we're going to use to put into your project. Once you're logged back into your project, you want to edit your project, scroll down to the folder that contains the file and paste that in there. In this case, we called it my DVD project.iso. Once you save this, it'll let it'll show you whether or not you typed it in correctly. So when we click save, we're going to see that it gave us a checkbox here and it has no errors. When we go back to edit our project, it's at the top because it's newly changed. We'll come back in and see that it shows that 3.179 gigabytes have been uploaded. This can be any URL. This can be on Amazon. It can be your site. The idea is eventually you just have an, a URL to a public file. This video explains how to create the ISO image. Come back to the help videos and you'll see about preparing DVDs and audio CDs. This actually is what we just looked at. This explains more about how to use FileZilla to FTP to either Amazon or the Trepstar public folder. Thank you.